for those who don't know me, I am the handling designer responsible for the handling of the F1 games and also the ambassador for uh, the brand Thrustmaster. And I wanted to show you something very short, five, six minutes tops. Uh, the, how important uh, the efficiency of the aero is in this game. So what we want to do is go with the default setup and you can see we have less front wing than compared to rear wing. This makes the car, yes, very stable, but it makes very inefficient. Uh, makes the car slower in in on both in corners and on straight because it's not efficient so i'll just show a lap before with this setup and then we will just go and make the the wings um level so 23 front and 23 rear um, let's make sure we have no ghost so we go and reset it. So it's like we never did any lap whatsoever. And let's go for it. I'll just try to also explain how to probably better drive the truck, uh, the truck, sorry, the car in this new game. So it's very important to learn well the pedals. It's very important to do trail braking to make the car rotate into the corners. Try to be as tight as possible into the corners uh, so that you can straighten up the steering wheel as soon as possible and go on throttle as early as possible. See, you, it wasn't very good here, for example, and I had to wait before I could go to, on, on throttle. Uh, this is basically on every corner, apart obviously from those very, very fast corners where you basically go flat out or just do a small lift. But you, you see, I try to go a little bit wide and then straighten the, the wheel to have a good traction out of the corner and gain some time. Here, it's just very small speed. Another thing I wanted to show is that if you turn a lot, you lose a lot of speed, you see? It's very important this year to be very smooth, use as little as possible amount of, core, uh, of steering degrees to try to keep as much as possible uh, the speed uh, up. So we're just doing, finishing this lap. It's not going to be a good lap obviously because we also did bad I got some packets, but um, now I just want to show you how a lot more efficient it is, even just on the straight. So if you, you see here, if you do the math, 23 and 23 is more or less the same as 18, 28, because we go five up and five down, but the car is a lot more efficient, it's got better turning, and it's got more top speed. You'll be able to see that in the Delta. So once we start the lap, you'll be able to see in the Delta how it improves the overall performance of the car. So this is just going straight and right away Delta better and better. In the corner, a lot better. A lot better. We, we gained a half a tenth in, in a flat out section of the track. We are not losing on traction either, so we just made the car better, more efficient aerodynamically uh, by just doing this change. You can see thro throttle uh, the traction is still pretty good because yeah the with this year aerodynamic kicks in later because it's coming more from the ground so 
uh, it's less important for the traction the wind from obviously slow um, slow corners obviously we are a lot better in maggots and beckets because we are doing it better but also the believe me that the setup is a lot more uh, precise less understanding but more enjoyable to drive and traction is still good we did okay not a bad lap so yeah the, the, that's about it next time we might go and look into um, go and look into right height maybe to even further fine-tune the efficiency of the car so yeah that's about it and till next time see you bye bye